today you're going to be going on a scavenger hunt through the absolutely true diary of a part-time Indian, locating some examples of figurative language. Um, so we have done an example for you here at the top. So the first um, scavenger hunt item was direct characterization of rowdy. So the first thing you have to do is put the definition of the literary device. So the definition of direct characterization is how an author tells his or her reader about a character. When the author specifically reveals traits about a character in a direct, straightforward manner. So they directly tell us something. That is what direct characterization is. If I needed help locating the definition of a literary device, here is a link right here that you can click on and you can see a list of all of the literary terms that we have asked you to be familiar with. After you write the definition of the literary term, you need to go through your book and find an example. So the example we found for Rowdy is, Rowdy is the toughest kid on the res. Notice that there's no period here. There's quotation marks around the statement, the author's last name, space, the page number, and then the period is on the outside. This is an example of direct characterization because it is directly telling me that Rowdy is a tough kid. That is direct characterization. Now what you have to do is you have to link this direct characterization to a theme seed. So as I look at this statement, I'm thinking to myself, well, this has to do with identity. If I need some help remembering what the theme seeds are, I can click right here and look at the presentation. And this has all of the theme seeds that we have provided for you. You must select one of the theme seeds that we gave you. You're not making up something different, okay? You're coming up with one of the theme seeds that we gave you. So you can look at this presentation and pick any theme seed from this presentation that directly ties back to your quotation. Then after you give us the theme seed, you need to explain how does this quote relate to this theme seed. So we need to know that Rowdy is tough, understand that he's actually hiding his sadness. This is what helps us better understand Rowdy, right? Because he is a tough kid, but he also has a whole lot of bad things going on in his life. So you're going to go through the rest of this document in the same way, okay? you are going to be doing um, another characterization of Penelope. So you're going to put the definition of direct characterization here. You're going to find a quote that shows direct characterization of Penelope here. You're going to provide a theme seed that ties back to whatever quote you select. And then you're going to explain how that quotation is an example of this theme seed. How do they tie together? Why is it important? You're going to do another direct characterization of Roger. You're going to do indirect characterization of Rowdy. Indirect characterization of Penelope. Indirect characterization of Gordy. You're going to find two different metaphors in the book. You're going to talk about symbolism as it applies to Oscar. So you're going to give me the definition of symbolism. You're going to find a quote about Oscar that shows how Oscar is a symbol. You're going to provide the theme seed and the explanation. Internal conflict for Rowdy. Internal conflict for Mary Spirit. An external conflict for Junior and Rowdy. Another external conflict for Junior and his parents. All right, so as you do these, make sure that you're writing in MLA format. Here's the example up here you can take a look at. Make sure that you are identifying a theme seed and providing a good explanation that makes sense and ties back to the book. 